Hi guys, so on today's video, I'm going to show you how to diagnose your uh, model T ATV if it's not moving. So if you have a problem that your handle is clicking, but ATV still does not move, then you need to see this video. On my previous video, I showed you how to diagnose your throttle handle and the main controller when the handle is not clicking. So. If this is your case, please look at my previous video, part number one. So again, if your ATV is clicking like this, but not moving, you're holding the throttle handle and it's not moving. So it can be a problem with the forward, neutral and reverse switch, or it can be a problem with the overheating relay. And I'm going to show you how to test both of those parts. So, first of all, you have to start with uh, removing your uh, handle. You need a 5 millimeter hex key and 10 millimeter wrench. Okay. Now, when the handle, you can put handle on the side. Now, you're gonna have two bolts on each side holding the front of the plastic body. So remove those two bolts, one on each side and uh, they are going to have uh, metal washers to hold in the body, so don't lose that. You're gonna have bolt washer and the nut. This is the only place where the body going to have, uh, when the bolt's going to have uh, washers. So I'm going to remove the second bolt right here. Okay. Now, next part would be to remove the two bolts on the far back of the ATV, which is holding the seat. Now you can pull out the seat. Remember when you're going to be installing it back, this metal piece is supposed to go underneath of here to secure the seat in place. And uh, you have four more bolts. There is no nuts on it underneath. And the last, you have to remove this screw that holding this knob. Okay. All right. Now you can lift up the body and put on the side that you can have access to this switch if you need to replace it or to this overheating relay. Now. Your overheating relay might look, might look okay from the outside, but it does not mean that it's not faulty. And if this overheating relay is faulty, it will not pass power through, which is what it's doing, it's basically connecting those two wires together. So the easiest way to test if this is the problem, why your ATV is not moving, it's actually clicking but not moving, is to remove this nut right here. and attaching this wire, touching to this uh, blue one, so together. So you can reuse the same nut.
Now, turn on the ignition key. Put machine on a forward position, which is or reverse, it doesn't matter which position, and try and try to twist the handle. It's going to click, and as you see, my machine is moving. I can even lift it up. So in my case, for example, that was the problem with the overheating relay. So for now, temporary, you can use it the way it is by shortening those two wires together, blue and red, until you replace this overheating relay. But what if you touch those two wires together, you override it, but machine still clicks, but does not move. Well, that can be a problem with your forward, neutral and reverse switch. And unfortunately, if you don't see any a visual defect from the outside, you will have to get it tested. Uh, so you will have to have a multimeter and you have to do the continuity test on this switch. So you have to put your settings on the ohms and if you have a sound notification, this will help you a lot. So if, if you're touching those two probes together, it's going to make beeping noise. So that means that everything is okay, it's passing power. So to test this switch, on the neutral, you will not have any beeping noise between this and this wire. As you can see, I'm touching, no noise. But if I'm going to put on a forward, and if this switch is in working condition, it's supposed to make beeping noise. Let's see. As you can see, it's passing power, no problem at all. The bottom two wires, which is this red and the yellow, that's a, that's, those wires are responsible for reverse. If your switch is faulty, I'm going to switch it to reverse. If your switch is faulty, it is not going to make any beeping noise. As you can see, mine is passing power. So the top one, two top ones responsible for forward and the bottom ones for reverse. If you put machine on the neutral, none of them going to beep because it's neutral. This is how you know which part you need to change, either this or this, if your machine is clicking. In my previous video, I showed you it could be as simple as a loose wire somewhere also, like on a throttle handle, so check for that, please. And the very last, what would be the problem if everything is passing power, you override the overheating relay and you tested the switch, all of the wires are tight, controller is clicking, but it's not going, then you can suspect the controller or in the worst case scenario, the motor itself, which is really, really rare. Because if motor fails, you would see smoke coming out from that motor. Well, I hope it was helpful for you. Help you diagnose your non-moving model TATV. Thank you.